Hi, and welcome to On the Shelves at ACPL. Today we are continuing to look at the new books on the new bookshelf, and this uh, group of books are our historical romances, as well as two contemporary romances that are kind of uh, genre bending. So let's get started. Our first book is Chance of a Lifetime by Jude Devereaux and Tara Sheets. It is a Providence Falls novel. I don't believe there are any other Providence Fall, Fall novels. I believe this might be the first of the series, but it is a very interesting concept. Liam is a rogue in 1844. He meets Cora and falls in love, but the angels aren't really down with this, and so they uh, break up this, uh, this union. But then, many, many, many years later, in the present time, I believe, uh, Liam is tasked with meeting Cora in Providence Falls, North Carolina, and making her fall in love with the man she was supposed to marry the first time before Liam came into the picture. And so will Liam be able to lead Cora uh, to this new man? He, she is a different Cora than he remembered. Uh, the Cora of her time, of his time, was good and sweet and pliant, and the Cora of the new time is a tough talking uh, modern woman who is not really interested in listening to uh, and following the directions of a man. So sounds like it's going to be a really interesting, fun read. Our next book is A Life Once Dreamed by Rachel Fordham. Several years ago, Agnes left her comfortable life and moved to the Dakotas because of a secret she didn't want to share with anyone. She is only 24, but is considered an old maid, but she is settled and she is happy as a teacher in the Dakotas. But then her childhood sweetheart, James, shows up to become the town doctor. James wants to reunite with Agnes and doesn't know this horrible secret that she doesn't want to share. And Agnes is determined not to share it and to uh, thwart his advances, but will she be successful? So our next book is not historical. This is contemporary, but it is one that kind of transcends genre. It is A Palm Beach Scandal by Susanna Marin. In this book, we have two daughters, Elodie and Aubrey. They have been raised in Palm Beach in a life of luxury. Uh, and as they grow up, they grow in very different ways. They have different, uh, different paths in life, but they are still close. And when Elodie finds out that she cannot uh, carry a child. She turns to her sister and asks if she will be their surrogate. And of course, Aubrey says yes, but that brings up a long ago scandal in her uh, parents' uh, history and shares things that rock the lives of both daughters and, uh, their, and their future. And our final romance, uh, also kind of transcending gen, uh, genre a bit, is Sex and Vanity by Kevin Kwan. He is the author of the insanely popular Crazy Rich Asi Asians series. And this new book uh, continues in that same vein. Lucy meets George on the island of Capri and immediately can't stand him. Not really for any good reasons, but she hates that he knows people better than she does and hates that he can do this and especially hates that he kisses her and she feels feelings. 
Uh, she is half Asian and half white, and she has always tried to uh, push down that Asian uh, part of herself and uh, trends toward uh, her white side. Several years later, uh, she is at a party with her fiance and New York and who walks in but George. So this leads to hijinks and uh, lots of subterfuge as she tries to deny her feelings for this man that she is obviously very, very attracted to. And yeah, is she going to leave her fiance? What is going to happen? Uh, it is going to be, if it is like any of his other books, it is going to be sexy and fun and uh, funny. So that is our first group of romances. If you would like to put any of them on hold, give us a call at any of our branches or go on to our website, alamancelibraries.org and click on catalog. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on the shelves.